So this morning, we're going to look at our LD Systems Robody 10, which is a battery-powered PA uh, available from Shipley's in Queenstown. So this is a 10-inch, 300-watt speaker, powered by battery or by mains. The microphones and aerials are located in the top, and we have these on here. And then there's one for the other microphone receiver, which goes on here. And the microphone is also located in the top. So, for operation, we're going to turn it on. We have a battery indicator here that lets us know how much charge it has. Uh, we do recommend that these are charged overnight prior to use. So with these are our microphone receivers here and here. We have one handheld and then we also have a lapel. This is the volume for the microphone. And we turn the microphone on, there's a little switch on the bottom of it. And then we have audio. We can turn it up, hey, hey, or we can turn it down. So we'll just go over the microphone itself. So just how to access its batteries. So they're just in there and they take two standard double A's. Two fresh batteries will be supplied when you pick it up for hire. The same with the lapel unit. So the batteries are actually in the bottom here. And again, two standard double A's. So we're gonna move down to the uh, control section. Now this is Bluetooth enabled as well and you can just search for it within your Bluetooth settings of your phone and it will find the LD Road Buddy 10 and then you can connect by there. This is the input volume control for the Bluetooth device. If you don't want to use Bluetooth and you want to use a cabled auxiliary cable from uh, your phone, then you press this little button here and you press it in and that will enable this input here, or these two RCAs. Again, controlled by this volume here. It also has two XLR inputs for external mics, or jack inputs for, say, a DI box, or a keyboard, or a acoustic guitar. And again, these are the levels that are for these inputs. It does have a reverb, or have they called it echo, um, which will allow you to put some reverb onto the main output. This is the main master volume, which will turn all things up and down. And then here we have a bass control EQ and a treble control EQ. And that's it.